right guys excited to show you one of my favorite songs by linkin park called numb and yeah the piano has a lot of a uh, lot of elements for sure there's also a lot of guitars there's a lot of dj stuff drums and it's a crazy song so it's a really it's a really good song to play if you're starting off on an on any instrument right so i'm going to divide the song into three parts which is basically pretty much how it is there's the the intro where the chords are either used for the verse or they are used for that hook which the piano starts and ends with right and then you have the pre chorus which is like a build up where that excitement is created and then finally the chorus i have become so numb and so on and so forth and there's also a fourth part which is called the bridge of the song that's generally done so that you break that monotony from the verse chorus verse chorus that repetition so we'll also cover that and on the piano there are a lot of uh, hooks which which he plays and in addition to that uh there there are a lot of other embellishments which the bass plays and which the guitar plays with harmonics which i also wanted to share with you so i may be doing it on the piano but um, it's what the other people the other musicians in the song were originally doing right so this is like a version it's uh, going to be a little difficult for us to know exactly what the pianist played which is why it's nice to try and digest the entire song as a whole Okay so let's get started with the intro and also which ends up being the verse because the chords are the same right So for the verse it's the whole song originally is on A major which has two sharps C sharp F sharp and G sharp He starts with the F sharp minor so one might argue that this song is actually on the key of f sharp minor which is true because f sharp minor is the relative minor of a major it's the 6th isn't it right so the chord progression is f sharp minor which is the 6 d major which is the 4 a major which is the 1 and e major which is the 5 again i am playing it using inversions on a piano you'd want to do that you don't want to go be really chaotic you'll find it tough and the singer will also find it a little annoying and so will the audience as well so if you're not aware of inversions perhaps you should watch one of our tutorials on youtube where we've discussed chord inversions in great detail okay moving on so coming to the verse part the chords na 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 Okay I'm sorry I don't know the lyrics but I will hum the tune as we go along so it's F sharp minor D major A major and E major Na 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 and so on so that happens twice and the second time there's an interesting part which which is at C which is this note C sharp So at the two end of the bar, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, every end the guitarist in the original is playing like a harmonic, which is this note C sharp, which adds a lot of color to the song. So if you can adopt that on the piano, nothing like it. So for the verse one, you could just go. And then. add that so on and so forth so just basically play the chords as you would normally but try and add the c sharp at the two end and also using the sustain pedal if you are a keyboardist will really help you to to make it a smooth transition between the chords
and so on right na 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 right and this same c sharp hitting comes in again in the pre chorus before we go to the pre chorus let me just show you that intro piano hook which is also the outro piano hook yeah it's there in the beginning and the end so let's see how that works i'm going to play it once and then try to break it down and you could complement this melody with your bass playing the roots of the uh, of the chords f sharp d a e with the pulse much the melody here and i've written down <clears throat> here exactly where you should be playing these notes it's an eighth note rhythm structure 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 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 1 and 2 right so it starts the c sharp starts at the end of the 3 it doesn't start at the one of the bar as where traditionally melodies are right so that's your uh, intro and the tune and you can also play power chords in the left hand making your song a lot more thicker and heavier it's like these power chords played by guitar is and so on right If you feel the power chords are too much try to remove the fifth and just play the root and the octave <clears throat> okay coming to the next part of the song which is the build up or the pre chorus the chords are basically d e major f sharp minor a major na 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 d e major and then the chorus i right However in the first pre chorus he goes all the way till this e and immediately we go to the chorus in the second pre chorus we add two more chords f sharp minor and a which get repeated and then the the chorus so the first pre basically has six chords and the second pre chorus when he repeats the the lyric has eight chords and the chorus is always consistent which i'm going to come to shortly So let's see how we you can play the pre-chorus. Again remember the addition of the C sharp at the 2.5 or the 2 and and this is how I'm voicing it or phrasing it on the piano. You could either play this play this way or even in the normal way with the chords. This will also sound nice. this becomes very common right so in the song it's sort of like that's c sharp okay Let's, let me do that again and the bass will basically playing be playing the roots of each of these chords ideally with a fifth to add more bite e f sharp a d e f sharp see what's happening i'm also building up my volume because the pre chorus is the build up it's taking us to the chorus and there's also some stuff i've written down in a yellow color that's basically the notes played by the bass instrument either the bass guitar or the synth as a passing note between the two chords so you have d e 
between that you have f sharp so d f sharp e g sharp f sharp g sharp a a d d again f sharp e g sharp f sharp g sharp a d f sharp and then goes back to the chorus let's see how it can sound with the passing so if you are a more intermediate uh, player on the piano or if you want to learn this on the bass it's basically going to be dum 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 basically at the four you pretty much play the yellow yellow stuff dum tang tum tang tum ta da da tang f sharp e g sharp f sharp tang 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 right putting it together sorry let's do it again to the chorus so one way to play the chorus is like how you play the verse it's pretty much the same chords f sharp d a and e it's just that you need to play it with a lot more aggression so let me just try and show you what i mean in the verse you're just na 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 it's very ambient right while in the chorus basically you need to slam the chord a lot harder and what the pianist also plays along with the guitarist is a little bit of a lead passage which goes on throughout the chorus so you could consider also playing that if you're getting bored with the chords let me show you that on the piano and every single lead part i'm going to play with my higher fingers the ring and the little and the lower part with the lower fingers always going to be f sharp for some reason they just keep playing f sharp at that stage okay so you go just goes on and on like that with the bass become so numb part continues for the bridge as well so you could even play power chords in the chorus to make it again thicker like we saw for the pre actually i'm quite liking the power chords better than just octaves so you could do power chords chords are what you're going to do on the guitar if you play the guitar right it's pretty much power chords throughout the chorus and this pattern continues during the bridge it's just that the chords are different i've written them down here i'll just point it out so you go d e f sharp g sharp a c sharp d C sharp, C sharp, C sharp again. Back to I've 
back to the chorus okay and you continue the same drill in your right hand pretty much even for the bridge sharp and i become so now right and it ends with that piano hook as how you start so these are ways you can play numb by linkin park on the piano and also i've given you a few cool tips regarding the song that is that use of that recurring c sharp at the two end also the dynamics which the song has so it's a great song to learn and i i i really hope you guys have fun playing it cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers